Blink, blink. All right. Saturday morning, 8 o'clock, 74 degrees. Wind out of the south, 5 miles an hour right now. Let's get up to about 15 again. There's a little kildee running out there. <laughs> so, Rick's not going to be here. He's got a windshield to be replaced in his car. Who knows about the others? So I'm gonna get up and fly for a little bit. I'll switch over to my video cam eyeballs. All right. I'm glad I got those. I think that kamikaze just showed up. I'm gonna put it to flag. I'm glad he brought a flag. I forgot my look. All right. No low high, you, maybe you didn't set them up. Yeah, I got it. Let's see. I got them. I got low and high. Wind's not. Hmm. I can't tell which direction it's coming out of. Okay. Okay, so it's six miles an hour from somewhere. Salem. First flight of the morning. It may be the only flight of the day. Who knows? I know. Beautiful. Well, it, it stands out as a shadow anyway. Feels pretty much like winds right out of the south. Yeah. I think next weekend is the warbirds, isn't it? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad. We're gonna take a trip to Oklahoma, so we won't be back till Friday afternoon. I'll be too pooped to fly, but I can sure watch. Okay, I had to trim it out a little bit because I've pushed the battery a little further forward this time than I usually do. So oh, so the nose heavy? Yeah. Well, as long as it's just a little bit, that's okay. Makes it fly better in the wind. See, it looks good. Yeah. Looks like the wind might be a little out of the east too. I think they carry FMS too. I don't know. I think they are. Oh, look at this. Just perfect. Cause he's gonna fly his wing. Whoa! Alright. I gotta get mine fixed. I love that wing, it'll fly in anything. There you go. He's just hanging it in the wind like a kite. Can't beat that. Ooh, there's a pretty good gust. 
about a 15 mile an hour gust. See where it's kamikaze at. There he is. Where'd he go? Oh, there he is. Okay. All right. Next weekend is the the big warbirds flying in out of Benbrook. We're gonna go out there and and uh, see that. Rick may fly in it. Captain Rick, but I'm not going to, but I'm going to go out and watch. Love those planes. It's our annual event. Okay, here we go. Tell you what, pretty soon we're going to have to change this from Masters, M-A-S-T-E-R-S of the wind, to Master of the wind, because our, our crowd is kind of dwindling. Let's see. The two masters. There they are. <laughs> now we may have to change our name to the dynamic duo with the wind. There you go. <laughs> Whoa, look at there. And there he goes right off the bat. Oh my gosh. Yeah, and I was just thinking at the rate that we're wrecking. Whoa, look at that. Just did a little hover in there. At the rate I'm crashing planes, it may turn out to just be Captain Eagle Eye out here by himself. Yeah, it was this kind of flying that destroyed my last plane. Keep the wings up and the plane lowing in front of you. Uh -oh. You end up in that great airplane graveyard. Oh, now he's, now he's doing a knife edge. Or a turn. Uh oh. Oh, and look at aileron rolls. Now he's inverted. Now he's just flying a big circle. I'll tell you what, you haven't heard this kind of commentary since Howard Cosell went away. Oh. Howard Cosell. And then to Don Meredith. Monday Night Football. Probably a slow flyby. There we go. We'll give you a little ground perspective. Going right into the wind. Wind coming out of the south. Don't know what the wind speed is. But as usual, it's gusting. So it can be anywhere from zero to 15 miles an hour in seconds. And generally, Generally what happens is you come floating in and you got a 15 mile an hour wind and you're running oh about a third throttle and then it drops down to zero and it just screws up your landing pattern. Or vice versa, you're coming in with no wind and then it jumps up on you. And look at there. And now the wind just picked up right after he touched down. That was perfect timing. That was a good flight, good landing. So here we go again maybe. Yep, there he goes. Nice takeoff. Whoa, holy moly, he poured the coal to it. I can't keep up with him. 
we're gonna have to get professional cameramen on them on this program here we go whoa uh oh I'll tell you what, if Captain Glue Gun ever comes back, he's going to have to take some lessons from Commander Eagle Eye. But last I heard, and I don't know if there's any truth to this or not, but Captain Glue Gun has uh, retired from the uh, Masters of the Wind Air Force. And he's just sitting back there collecting checks every month, eating hot dogs, and drinking beer, watching TV, and looking at his airplanes and thinking about the glory days. Now, that's just a rumor, of course. I think next time we go out to lunch, we're going to have to set up the empty chair at the table for him. Are we gonna? Whoa! Are we gonna have to start calling it a Masters of the Wind reunion to get him here? <laughs> okay. Couldn't turn the plane around because of the wind. So what he's gonna do is go around and land closer. down there and got it for him but uh, yeah, I'm tired <laughs> I didn't sleep good last night okay I'm lazy okay I better get out of the street uh, or off the well hell I lost him where'd he go there he is yeah okay sorry folks we had a little technical difficulty there Whoa, look at that. An inverted flyby. Now uh, half an outside loop and then a whole bunch of other stuff that I don't know what it is, but it looks good. To all our friends in Sweden, New Zealand, and England, I want to say hi. Hope you're flying good this weekend. Uh oh, there's the ringer of doom. Whoa, we're just hovering, look at this. He may bring it in on, on the elevator. Oh, everybody, please pray, say hi. Uh, everybody go, I think he can, I think he can, and he did. <laughs> what a landing. The little plane that could. Whoa, let's have a big round of applause for Commander Eagle Eye and that wonderful landing. Yay! So now, because I bought this really cool temp gauge, we're going to get the engine temperature. We don't really need it, but I just want an excuse. 97, 97 degrees. Not warmed up yet. And cooling down fast. Look at that. You got a laser. So you got to get down in here. 97. 97, 96 degrees. It's cooling down quick, guys. You see that? 96 degrees on that little motor. They say not to let them get above 240, I think. So we're good on that. Yeah, I got that at Harbor Freight. Oh, whoops, wrong side. There you go. Really cool. Infrared thermometer. I'd rather have a radar so I could do speed, but oh well. Oh, cameraman's screwing off. <laughs> there he goes. Whoa! About to set a land speed record.
Sometimes you have a very big wall over there. That's just called a building. Or we could call it an emergency brake. I'll tell you what, with this camera work, I should be running a camera at the Indianapolis 500 this year. There he goes, Commander Eagle Eye taking the lead over on turn three, coming down the straightaway, and he takes the whatever color flag it is, oh, checkered. And now they can't get him to stop. <laughs> and if this was NASCAR, they'd be throwing beer bottles at him. Yeah, I don't really do that in NASCAR. Whoa! Getting faster on each turn. Starting to build up his speed. He comes. Oh, you can hear him shifting those gears, too. Whoa, where do you go? Oh, I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> Let's go really fast. And the caution flag is out. Whoa, no, he's up. <laughs> he's up. He's coming in the pit for a beer. <laughs> wow, well, look. Okay. Hey, check the temperature. Now we'll check the temperature again. Temp check. Bend over. We'll put out the old rectal thermometer here. And what do we got? We got 130, 134. 133 is the official official temperature. Not bad. Well, that means we're not running too lean. That's good. Yep. It's, it's right. smoking. And then again, we don't have the body on it. Body kind of blocks off some of that air that gets to the engine. Look at all those cooling fins it's got there. It looks like a... Ooh. Monster heat. Yeah, it looks like a, a, a building from California. An apartment building. It's just put a little, bunch of little rooms in that motor. <laughs> <laughs> Japanese apartment. Put, yeah, put little ants in there, let them live. <laughs> and they're roasted ants. Get a little dirty. Time to clean that one. Okay, so it is misting. I had to cut down my cut down my rack from my truck, get it to fit in. Cut it off at an angle. And I'm gonna redo it, I think, again. A little heavier. Airplanes. Wind. See what the wind's doing. Don't matter on the cars. <laughs> there we go. Uh, nine, nine, ten miles an hour. That's not bad. Very flyable. Okay, Ricky, got your glow sticks. No, nope, there's mine. That's it. I found it. Good man. Only got one. It's in with the battery box. <laughs> You need one of these kind of. I got this over at Harbor Freight too. Yeah. And it just about carries everything, kind of like your flying box. Yeah. And you might can go with the with the smaller one. And what I did, I cut the seam on that to open it up so it'd hold two bottles instead of oh, okay. one little thing. Yeah. I just took right there, cut the seam with a razor blade, and opened it up. Oh, babe! Oh, no. Mmm. There's only two of us that show up. We don't have time to drink coffee. Uh, there we go. Oh, there it is. Neat little guys. What's that? 
these little cars. I like them. I do too. I've always liked them. Oh, you feel that way? I just open up the deal and pour it in. I just do it like this. Because it won't hold all this. Yeah. At least I don't think it does. Pull that up. And a little nitro methane. $27.95 per gallon. Budweiser. I don't think you want to pour that in your car. Hey, Mike can mix it. I wonder what it'd do. For a short trip. A very short trip, like heading to the mechanic. <laughs> <laughs> Put a gallon in and head to Firestone. You'll, you'll get there fast. <laughs> Kick them turbo boosters in. <laughs> okay, let's right there. And then we'll let's see, probably we'll turn a few things on here. Yeah, turn that on first. No, that on first. It's on first. He's on second. Nope. Who's on third? Ah, here it is. It's backwards. Okay, so now let's just... Nope, you gotta, you gotta pry it before you turn it on. Yeah, I can turn it on. Okay. Hey, learn to do this. Okay, we're gonna assume some gas somehow actually got there. But it did. Since we can't see it. Think so. Oh, careful! You still got the stick on there. there you go. Get a good workout. I am.